Hello there, and thank you for tuning into this screencast. I'm Rex Proctor. In this screencast, we're going to cover off pasting from a timeline into a composer. There are a bunch of different ways you can go about doing this. So let's start off by checking out the shortcut. So open up the manual, hit the shortcuts menu, and peel down to the timeline. Right about the middle-ish here is all of our shortcuts for pasting into the composer. So let's launch angles. And I've already loaded up a bit of content, but I'm gonna create a composer over here on the right. So I'm gonna to split to the right, and I'm gonna do that again. And then I'm going to close this pane here. And then I'm gonna pull this one down. Now notice what's happening here. If I hold Option, I can pull that away from the locking feature um, within the different panes. So Option will allow you to adjust that. I'm gonna create a composer there, just so we have lots of room so you can see how the different pasting operations work. So the first way in which you can bring that into the composer is holding Option and clicking and dragging and dropping that straight into the topic. You can also do that with multiple clips by holding command and selecting the clips and then holding option. Just be aware that you may lose the selection when you click on that clip. So make sure that's the last clip um, and you're holding the option when you're trying to grab that selection. So that's how you multi do it. However, that's kind of convenient and pretty easy to understand, but you're probably going to want to paste a whole bunch of things in. So how you can do that is selecting, say I want to paste all those in, and you press Option Command B as in boy, and that will, or bomb as I like to say, and that will paste in all of the selected clips into the topmost composer. Now let's create another composer because this is kind of important to understand because you might have a few different composers going. So the keyboard keystrokes will paste into the last selected composer. So it kind of, you know, sort of does this little thing for you where it says, hey, they were using this one last, so let's paste anything into that. So Angles is kind of smart that way. So now if I select this clip and go Option Command B, that's going to paste into the front one, the last one that I chose. And if I do this, then the next time I paste something in, it's going to paste it into the appropriate row there, or the appropriate composer. So that's Option Command B. If you're watching clips, and you're, say, double-clicking, and you want this clip, Option Command V. It will send the single clip where the clip cursor is located into the composer. Okay, so let's go back and look at these shortcuts again. Always got to refer to these. So we've covered off the Option Command V and Option Command B. Let's have a look at Option Command N. This one's kind of interesting. What it does is it creates a new topic for every single clip. So if I go Option Command N, it will paste every single clip that is selected into its own topic. And that way you just get one clip per uh, topic, which was done specifically for a customer um, where it's kind of handy as you can edit and then export those um, as individual movies. So you can use this little export by topic feature. Now the other pasting is to create a new row. So if I go Control Option V, that will paste it into a new row and it won't do the combing effect where it looks at your clip row and then pastes it into the matching topic. So that's Control Option Command. And then you've got the same thing, uh, Control Option Command B and that will paste them all into a new one even though Will Hayward there, as you can see, was a choice that it could have pasted into. Now there are also options in the right click on the row which you can select which composer to paste to. So if I want to paste those, let's choose Zach Jones for different, I can paste those into three or four. Even though four is hidden, you can still paste into it. Sometimes people have super tabs open and they actually paste into a secondary super tab. So in that case, I might, oop, I might go 
new empty super tab and I'll just create a gigantic, well, let's just do a split like this and I'll create a composer, close off my sidebars. And now if I do this, right click on that, there's composer five. So I can actually paste to the back where I might have kind of a unique arrangement going. So you can paste across super tabs. Uh, just remember though, it, it, most of your keyboard shortcuts, or all of them actually, will only work if it was the last selected composer. So just be aware of that. You can also, just one last little place, you can also right click on the clip and you can copy this in the same sort of way. Mm -hmm.